In this experiment, we're going to do experiment 18.2, testing for cations. There are several cations that we're going to test today. We're going to start with aluminum, calcium, zinc, lead, and sodium. Testing for cations uh, require the reaction with sodium hydroxide and ammonia. So let's see what happens when a few drops of sodium hydroxide is added into each of these solutions. In aluminum ion, there is white precipitate produced and that precipitate is aluminum hydroxide. Calcium ion also produces white precipitate of calcium hydroxide zinc also produces white precipitate of zinc hydroxide lead also produces white precipitate but sodium does not produce white precipitate now let's add more sodium hydroxide so we add excess sodium hydroxide and see what happens aluminum ion in excess sodium hydroxide this white precipitate dissolves to give you colorless solution for calcium ion when we add excess sodium hydroxide we can see that the white precipitate remains. None of it dissolves. Zinc ion in excess sodium hydroxide, the precipitate dissolves to give you colorless solution. Lead ion in excess sodium hydroxide the white precipitate does not dissolve. Test for the same ions, but this time using ammonia. Let's add a few drops into each of these test tubes. With a few drops of ammonia and aluminum um, iron, white precipitate is formed. In calcium iron, there is no precipitate formed. Zinc forms white precipitate. Lead iron also forms white precipitate with ammonia, and nothing happens with sodium iron. Let's see what happens when we now add excess ammonia. So the white precipitate doesn't seem to dissolve so far. Doesn't dissolve. Calcium, when we add excess ammonia, still doesn't form any white precipitate. Zinc You can see that the white precipitate starts to dissolve here So all the white precipitate dissolves here Lead in excess ammonia the white precipitate does not dissolve and uh, there was no change with sodium ion still no change with excess ammonia now we're going to test for copper iron 2 iron 3 and chromium 3 ions we are still going to use sodium hydroxide let's first add a few drops of sodium hydroxide into each of these test tubes okay. 
you can see that with copper 2, there is blue precipitate form. With iron 2, there is green precipitate form. With iron 3, there is reddish brown precipitate form. And with chromium 3, there is also green precipitate form. Just try a few more drops. Green precipitate. Now, let's add sodium hydroxide in excess and see if these precipitates dissolve. So, copper hydroxide doesn't seem to dissolve in excess sodium hydroxide. So, let's see precipitate there. Iron 2 in excess sodium hydroxide also doesn't seem to dissolve. Iron 3 in excess sodium hydroxide precipitate doesn't dissolve. Chromium 3 in excess sodium hydroxide the precipitate dissolves to give you green solution. We are back with the same iron solutions. Please take a note of the original color first. Copper 2 is blue. Iron 2 is greenish yellow. Iron 3 is sort of pale red-brown color and chromium 3 is deep blue, blue-gray color. Okay, second test that we're doing is using ammonia. So let's add a few drops to each of these test tubes. So let's see, with the addition of a few drops of ammonia, copper 2 forms blue precipitate. With a few drops of ammonia, iron 2 forms green precipitate and iron 3 forms red-brown precipitate. Chromium 3 forms green gray precipitate. Let's see what happens if we add ammonia in excess. The blue precipitate dissolves. The blue precipitate dissolves in excess to give you a dark blue solution. Let's see if we can dissolve more. Okay. All the precipitate has been dissolved and it gives dark blue solution. With arm 2, in excess ammonia, the precipitate does not dissolve at all. Iron 3, in excess ammonia, the precipitate also does not dissolve. Chromium 3, in excess ammonia, The gray-green precipitate remains. It does not dissolve in excess ammonia. The next test is for ammonium ion. Remember that ammonium salt 
reacts with sodium hydroxide to produce ammonia gas. So that gas is the one that we want to um, test. So let's add sodium hydroxide into ammonia. And when we warm this up, we will get ammonia gas. We warm this mixture gently until we can see bubbles produce. Okay. So put the damp red litmus at the mouth of the test tube. Yeah, you can see that the red litmus paper turns blue, indicating that ammonia gas is produced.